Friday, raining. Okay, I'm here searching. There's a lot of stuff here, but nothing really. Uh, I find this game worth about $32. And there's this cycling thing. I'm not sure about that. The pens with these gel pens are not working. So. I like them though. <laughs> I got a couple of things I'm going to show you when I unpack. And as you can see, it's not really crowded. So. Hey, it's your girl Angel Fury, and I just came from the Everything Must Go store, the Quick Lot store in Charlotte. Now, when I went today, it was pouring down rain, and I didn't get there till about a quarter to ten. The line was really long, and it was raining outside. People come out in the rain. So, <laughs> there you go. Um, I went there, no expectations. It is six dollar day, restock day. So I wanted to share with you some of the things that I, I was able to uh, get there. And I actually saw some other people there that was get, getting things as well. So um, you wanna get there early if you're gonna go. And let me just tell you this right off the bat. At this particular location, there are no electronics, there are no tablets, there's no no computer, uh, computeries kind of things there. You're not gonna get that. Mostly what you're gonna get there is houseware. Housewares, puzzles, um, some, some uh, uh, beauty products, things like that. Don't go there expecting that you're gonna get a great hit uh, there. Nothing above $200. You'll get some things around $50 if you go early, but for a regular day, or a $6 restock day, it's just not really, you know, it's not like the other stores is what I'm trying to say. It's not like the other stores. So let me just share with you some of the things that I was able to get today. This, um, this is a quilt set. It's a Nordstrom's quilt set, gray. It's an open bag kind of thing, but it was only $6. This is a quilt, quilt thing with the, um, it's queen size, so. I got that. Um, that's probably the worth. Um, I'd have to sell it. New open bag, new open box. Probably about fifty dollars. But you know, this was interesting. This is a a barbell set. Can you see? A barbell set. Don't really know. But what was funny was. It's the adjustable ones. What was funny was that when I got this, she was just putting it on the table. So I didn't know what it was. I just snagged it and uh, put it in my bag. <laughs> and then I said, I'll check it later. I said, it's heavy enough to be worth something. So there you go. So that. But I really believe that that's probably about 70 something dollars, maybe a little higher. We'll check that out later. And let's see. Oh, I got another eight piece quilt set. This is eight piece quilt set. Don't know if it's um this is also a queen size or oh, the pumper pumper set. Open. Not sure if all the pieces are there. See? Um eight piece. Don't know what brand I don't know what brand it is. H-A-O-K. H-A-O-K. Not sure. And I'm not sure if it's all there, but for $6, I said, okay. Might just give that one to my daughter. <laughs> Next. Oh, oh, this is pretty cool. Next, let's open. Here. This is... See? A Daytona helmet. 
It's the German brand. Pretty cool. Looked it up online, new, about $45, $50. Okay. <laughs> This was a surprise. The only uh, techie, well not even techie, it's just a light LED lamp. Looked it up online. This is $80 new. Here. Shoes. They had some apparel there, so. Shoes, these are Echo. And they're slip-on. They're the slip-ons. I saw these new online for $80. Not too bad. I just gotta find the exact buyer. Nine and a half. Nine, nine and a half. Pink shoe. <laughs> we'll see. And oh, this one I didn't look up. It's a 3D. UV resin curing. This is for a 3D printer. I'm not real sure about these. I saw them for about $50 online. I could be totally wrong. I'll let you know. Put it in the comments section, what have you. I'll let you know what it really is. Oh, should I be opening this up? Am I devaluing it by opening the box? Ugh. I want to see what it is. So when I went there, when I go there, I'm often wondering what are you with what what is being held? Why can't we get some of the good items that some of the other bin stores are getting? Because the ones in um South Carolina uh, seem to have better quality stuff, so um, I'm not sure what's going on. Solar something. I'm not sure how this how this pans out. It's got some brackets in there and a box. It looks like the box has been opened. I don't know. It's got some screws in there. Oh, a wonder. Hmm. What in the world? This is a light. It looks like a light. Some kind of light. And ha, it's broken. Look at that. So that's down the toilet right there which lets me know that you really have to open up the stuff they don't like when you open up the stuff when you're there but um if you don't you're gonna end up with a dud so I have a six dollar dud here <laughs> what's gonna do but that just goes to show you what's at quick lots in Charlotte hey it's a poke picking a poke what you gonna do so I got a couple of good items am I gonna get rich no is it worth a long drive no I saw one girl there I met a young lady there very nice lady she's from Virginia and she came down and came to here and I was like you poor thing <laughs> you poor thing because the money's not there anyway you, you live and learn you find out what's what I'm gonna make a couple of dollars probably on the weight set on the helmet and on the light so I will make something uh, it's been a great day it's raining I'm gonna go and upload videos and take care of some other stuff that I bought the other day got some cool uh, t-shirts and um, some shoes and stuff like that so I'm gonna go list list what I do have all right thanks for watching See you next subscribe and like share and make sure you ring that bell to know the next time that I'm gonna be on sharing my thrift store finds on angel flurry flip so 
See you next time and thanks for watching.